Hi everyone. No, there is nothing wrong with your screen. I am in the dark right now because for this tutorial, I am going to show you how I did my black light art inspired tumbler. So let me see if I can get it to glow for y'all. So these are neon glitters. And they glow under UV light or a blue light. And it just really reminds me of the black light posters. So that's the look that I was going for. So I hope that you will stick around and watch the tutorial. I hope you like the cup. So let's get started. Alright, so for this cup I am using a coloring book page. I got this on Etsy. It's a set of 10 and this is the one that I thought would be best for my black light art inspired tumbler. So the first thing I'm going to do, because it is a PDF, it is not an SVG, it has to be turned into an SVG. So I am taking a screenshot of the image. And then I am going to save it onto my computer. I've already done that, so I'm just going to skip over that part. And then once you have this part completed, then you're going to head over to picksvg.com. And you're going to upload it and it will automatically turn it into a cup file. Once that's done, then just download it onto your computer and then head on over to Cricut or Silhouette, whichever one you use. So I did this cup a couple of times just because I was testing out different background colors. So this particular one is sized for a 22 ounce fatty, but as the video goes on, um, you'll see me working with that one and a 20 ounce sublimation tumbler. So, um, and before you cut it, you want to make sure that you attach, you hit the attach button because there might be some stray pieces that will separate from the bigger image so just hit that attach button to make sure that everything stays together i use the washi tape setting with more pressure and I know that this setting does not work for everybody. Um, I think some people use the paper setting. I think that's what it is. But this one works pretty well for me. So this is when I, why well, I fix it if, if it's working. So I haven't tested out any other settings. So I'm using the Panther Armor Cat Scratch Tape. I really like the longer sheets because most of the time you can get two two burst designs on one sheet so that's good you're not wasting you're not wasting but if you have any pieces left over that will not fit on a cup you might be able to use them um, for pens so just save any scraps that you might have
So I'm not cutting the the sheet before I cut my design. I'm leaving it the whole length and I will trim it after I cut my design. So once the design is cut out, I'm laying it image side down and then I'm pulling the cutting mat up and away from the tape and this will keep me from bending the paper and possibly losing any smaller pieces. And now I'm just trimming it up and if you noticed there was a black box around the image. I'm cutting on the outside of that box because it is part of the measurements. So I know a lot of people like to use the Windex method. Um, I have never tried the Windex method. This is what works for me, just like the, how I do my vinyl. So I'll pull up a strip of the backing paper and I'll cut it off and then I'll stick that strip back down. Also, a lot of people like to glitter their burst designs before they put them on the cup. That way is so much messier for me. Um, it's just easier for me to do it after it's on the cup. But everybody has their personal preference. It doesn't matter how you get it on there or how you glitter it. As long as, you, as, long as the end result is the same, it doesn't matter how you got there. It's, it's all personal preference. There's no wrong way to do these. So now I'm just going to get it set up on my cup where I want it. And then once I have it where I want it, then I will peel that strip of backing paper off. Stick it down to the cup and then I'll start working my the rest of the backing paper off. So just work in small sections, just take your time, there's no hurry to get this done, just take your time. So now I'm going to start pulling off the paper where the black areas are going to be, where my black glitter is going to go. So as I said, this is like the third attempt at this cup. So the first one I did a black base, which helped the black glitter to really pop, but it didn't help my other colors. They looked dull, they weren't as bright as I wanted them to be. So that's why I'm doing this one on a white base and I will have to go back and touch up some of the black glitter, um, but the white base really helped my other colors to pop and that's what I was wanting. So I'm going to finish the rest of this off camera because there's a lot. So these are the glitters that I used. Um, I am adding shattered to my pearl glitters. Pearl glitters are really pretty on their own, but they don't have a lot of sparkle to them. And purity, which is my black, it's really sparkly. And sweet pea has a really pretty sparkle to it. 
so um, I wanted them to have some sparkle as well so shattered is a white opal holographic glitter and so I just added a little bit of that into my pearls to give them a little bit of sparkle as well Alright, so now it's time to lay down our black glitter. Um, on the other cup, I don't think I don't do it on this one, but on the other one of the other cups, I did go over the black gl glitter twice. Um, I only did it once on this one, but I am going to go over it with some black mica powder as well, just to fill in any of those um, white areas that might be showing through. So I'm just brushing off the excess and I mean it doesn't look bad right now but there was some white areas um, that I could still see. So now I'm going to take some black mica powder. Um, this is from Let's Resin. I will leave a link to everything that I use in the description. And I'm just taking a small, a, a small soft makeup brush. And I'm not brushing over the glitter because I don't want to loosen up any of that glitter and have it come off. So I'm just doing a light dusting or, um, uh, what's the word? Um, I can't think of the word. But anyway, yeah, just a light dusting of the black mica powder, nothing too heavy, and it did help to fill in um, any of those lighter areas that were still showing through. I did also seal the black glitter with Krylon Triple Thick. Um, another one of the issues that I had with this cup was the, the colored glitters um, sticking to the black glitter and then when you hold a UV light over it, you can see all those glitters on the black glitter. Um, I still had that issue, so I'm not sure how to fix that, but I really like the way the cup came out. Uh, my husband says it looks kind of like a galaxy, but you'll be able to see it at the end. Um, there will be pictures of the completed cup at the end. Um, I don't show how I do the, the bottom in the tutorial. So since the rest of the cup was over a white base, I left the bottom white, mod podged over it, and then added the black glitter. And then the same thing, I dusted over it with the black mica powder. If I painted the bottom of the cup black, and then did my black glitter, you'd be able to see a difference between the bottom and the rest of the cup. So, but it, 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 it turned out better than I was expecting with the issues that I had with it, but it came out, I like it. And I hope y'all like it too. So I'm gonna do a little bit more of this and then I'm gonna do the rest off camera. Um, I think any burst design would work for this, um, but I, I wanted something that would look like the black light art posters, and this really, this design really um, reminded me of that. <clears throat> So 
So there were some areas um, where I missed that needed black glitter. So I'm trying to be careful not to dump too much of that black on the other colors. I didn't really have any issue with it sticking to them because the pearl glitters are an extra fine glitter. So they um, filled in the double-sided tape really well. Um, so the black glitter didn't stick to them too bad. I did have some contamination, but nothing that made me say, um, no, this isn't going to work. I got to start all over. It, it wasn't bad. So. So then I did seal it with, um, Krylon triple thick. I did two coats of that and now I'm going to do 25 milliliters of epoxy. And the cup was pretty smooth after this, so now I'm going to do my sanding. I'm using a 60 grit sanding block to get that silver edge at the top of my rim. Again, the rest of the cup was pr fairly smooth. I just did the rim and then a little bit around the bottom. Um, a very light sanding, but And now once I have that done, I'm going to do some cleanup. So I am using a magic eraser and some acetone to clean up the spray paint. I did have some spray paint that was not coming off. And so what I'll do in a situation like that is I'll take it to the kitchen sink and I'll put some acetone on the magic eraser and I'll put some Dawn dish soap on there as well and wash it with hot water and that works really well. It gets anything I can't get off with just the acetone alone. I don't know why it makes a difference, but the Dawn dish soap does and it works really well. So here we are back to the 22 ounce fatty and I am doing my last layer of epoxy. I believe this is 10 or 15 milliliters. It was a very thin, very thin coat. I didn't need anything heavy, just enough to cover up where I sanded. And then that was it. The cup was done. So stay tuned for close-ups of the completed cup.